UNESCO United Nations Education Scientific Cultural Organization in that uh, charter there is a preamble it says that since war begins in the minds of the men it should be in the minds of the men that the defenses of peace must be construed building peace promoting peace assuring peace is the most important thing in the world UN is established on October 24th 1945 to build peace to establish peace to ensure peace and to promote peace in the world to build peace to establish peace to ensure peace and to promote peace in the world and today we are celebrating 75th anniversary of united nations organization and now to what extent un is successful to what extent un is a failure as a million dollar question so let's see the areas where un is highly successful first there is a very famous statement what you cannot do directly you can do indirectly in the sovereign state system un cannot interfere in the sovereign affairs of the countries so by various programs un started helping the mankind for example in 2020 world food program got nobel peace prize there are so many things which un have done for the world un peacekeeping forces world health organization unicef unesco what not name any field of human excellence name any field of human life you can find the presence of un there un women un women particularly and coming to various conventions with respect to international law un convention on law of sea un convention on diplomatic relations vienna convention so many conventions under the auspices of un so we have so many things important international laws international conventions and important resolutions that is the effectiveness of un and here you might think that un as an international organization is a failure that is wrong because un can be com- cannot be compared with national government un can never be compared with the national government because a national government or a state have proper sovereign entity proper sovereign existence whereas united nations organization have to work within its own restrictions limited personnel first thing second thing limited contributions funding third thing control and dominance by rich countries developed countries there are so many limitations for the un but still un is doing a tremendous job then why critics say un should be closed un is defunct organization critics say that with respect to the issues like palestina with respect to the issues like korean war suez crisis vietnam war afghan crisis and recently rohingya crisis n number of issues like rwandan genocide like yugoslavia zekoslavica all these issues like kashmir issue in so many issues un could not able to play a key role in solving the problems and building the peace but in fact but in fact there are so many occasions un high commission for refugees un food program un aid there are so many things where un is doing good job so we can look from the prism of the limitations of the un and we can say that un is successful and it has it is going to do much more to the world we need to empower the un the problem with the un the major problem is the veto powers in the un security council the p5 countries if any country vetoes the entire resolution will be stopped veto means to stop stop the p5 countries the powerful countries america russia china france britain these are the strong countries and they have veto powers and un reforms is the need of the world coming to india and the un india is a founding member of the united nations organization from the beginning india loves the ethos 
India followed the conventions of the UN and uh, UN Declaration of Human Rights, all the important human rights conventions like UN Civil and Political Rights, UN Socio Economic Cultural Rights, Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, Covenant on Socio Economic Cultural Rights, CEDA, con that is Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, UN Convention on Child Rights, UN Convention on Rights of Disabled. Almost India is following, adopting various conventions made by the UN. That is one important thing. And uh, right now, India is the eighth time non-permanent member of the UNO. Even this is the thing which we need to understand. And India is one of the topmost troop contributors to UN peacekeeping forces. Even this is very important. So, India is India has a role to play at the heart and soul of the UNO. Today, our uh, Minister for External Affairs, Jay Shankar, also says, told the same say, statement about the India's role in the UNO. And India is aspiring for permanent member in the Security Council. So, we wish the UN all the best. And here, there is a theme for this year, UN theme. UN celebrations, UN anniversary is 75 years. The theme is UN Day 2020. The theme is the future we want, the UN we need. Reaffirming our collective commitment towards multilateralism. The theme is the future we want, the UN we need. Reaffirming our collective commitment towards multilateralism. This is a theme. Let's see UN in future work for multilateralism. And we wish a better and a reformed and a collective United Nations organization which aims for betterment of humanity and building world peace. Thank you.